Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, what you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement. Create a new one and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Excuse me, folks. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 206. NASDAQ is down 500. S&Ps are off 76. Gold, gold contract trading down 360, 2,464 an ounce. Get silver off 95 cents, trading out to $30.50. Notes and bonds, 10-year note, up four ticks, trading 111.14. The 30-year up six ticks at 120.15, and king dollar. King dollar trading down 534 ticks, 103.736. Euro out here at 109. Yen at 156, British pound at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's bring up the E-minis first. Did a gap down this morning. We take a look at this E mini here, and what you're going to see is going to be right there. Okay, so right there. That number, let's see, 5646. And we're at 5640. My take is that we're going to go right after this low again. We're going to blow this low out and finish it low to the marketplace. That's on your E mini. Your NQs. Now, they've been building cause to blow away this low. And just as we would look at this, it's going to be an ABC down. Oh, baby, here come the daddy. Let's see. Okay, 309. So we got one minute on this bar. Oh, this is kind of cool if you're bearish because what's happening is that the bar is at 2007. And we're going to start a new bar, 2007. And we just had an expansion of volume on the last bar. So any second, right? Well, here it goes right now. It's just starting right now. So we've already built cause. So let's see. What's 50, 100, yeah, 100 and almost two hours and 20 minutes. That's how this shakes out. You got the expansion of volume right here. So we'll see whether it's going to basically blow that away. If it blows it away with volume, you're talking about another ABC structure down. So it's going to have to do with what time in the next, you know, 60 mi minutes does this break. If it breaks early, guess what? <laughs> that could really get you a downdraft going. If, if it's still going to build cause till, you know, 10, 10 of 4 or whatever, then you're just going to break it and it'll continue tomorrow. So when we take a look at this market, what you have is this, is that, well, yeah, let, let's talk a little bit about your gap down. So if I bring up this, let's bring up the Qs for a second. Okay, so if we bring up the Qs, you're going to see the Qs are trading down $13.40. The Qs, and this is what happens in downdrafts, man. The Qs gave back, you know, a month and a day and one day, okay? You got an expansion of volume. So the Q's a wide open, you know, you got a gap that's laying out there at 488. No, 468. We're at 483. You get a high volume low, and that's where I think we're there's that's where we're going, man. We're going to this high volume low, man. Right there. This is sick. Okay, so the high volume that let's do the high of the low too. Because that's crucial. So the high of the low. It's 452. The low is 443. You know, probability wise, that's where we're probably going. The real question is, how do we get there? Meaning, do you go straight down? Do you do a bounce? You can see if you're watching Tiger TV, this, no doubt, this trend line that I just put here, we broke 
that trend with conviction. And I took it right off the numbers that we were just talking about where the high volume low is. So you gap over it, you blow it away, when you do something like that, your probability is that, yeah, I can get there. Let's go look at the SPY, see how the SPY's setting up. And I know it's shocking that we actually have a retracement. Now you can see the SPY is not the same chart as the NDX, it's not even close either. Now, that being said, you can make the case that the SPY could get to, uh, what, 542 at this point. Now there's a gap at 537. But at this point, we did the same thing. You broke lower. Now you can see the difference, though. See, see this difference with the volume? There's only 33 million right now. Well, you're going into 53. So there's not as much selling inside the SPY as there is the NDX. Not even close, either. Because what you have here is that 33, that means we can do 43. Yeah, even if we do 43 million, you're coming into 53 million, so you're coming in with lighter volume. So that, that's saying that, well, bottom line is that, yeah, on the SPY, get a retracement, but guess what? There's no heavy selling yet. Now, I'm going to go back to the Qs again, because the Qs let us up. The Qs are going to lead us down. That's the reality. And you can see the, the volume's exploded out of the Qs. We made a high with the Qs of 28 million. Bottom line, you're down with 40 million. Yeah. Whole different animal. But let's do this on a weekly. I'm curious as to how this is set up on a weekly. Okay, so on a weekly, 449, right there. Yeah, 442 is game again. That's 40 points, man. That's, <laughs> that is a monster number, folks. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here. Uh, you get NVIDIA down eight bucks, you get Tesla down nine, you get uh, Advanced Micro down 16, Apple's down five, Amazon's down five, Broadcom's down 12, Facebook's down 28, Microsoft's down five. Microsoft got hit two days in a row here, MSFT. Uh, this, well, yeah. Same right there, folks, come right back. <laughs>